Hello, 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 YouTube. This is your girl Zingaya, and welcome to my channel. And this is Zen Libra and Tarot. How is everybody doing out there? I hope you're doing fine, healthy, happy, living life, pockets right, looking good, smelling good. Because this is how we're doing it over here at Zen Libra and Tarot. And of course, you know, my channel is a self empowerment channel for the women. Um, I feel the women need to ascend back to their thrones so we can uh, cancel out of the negativity negativity going around in this earth today. Um, we're balancing out this warlike masculine energy and we have to give ourselves self-love in order to do that. Um, we start loving ourselves more and paying more attention to our wants and needs instead of others that we will heal ourselves. And we will rise back to the throne. Okay. Uh, it's time out for healing everybody else. And not ourselves. You know. We got to take care of ourselves. In order to take care of others. And quit relying on these men. To. Give you that. You know. Quit waiting for. The society. Or other people's approval. Of what you should be and what you should accept and what you should allow. <clears throat> we have internal instinct. Uh, we have inner um, energy. Um, and we know. We need to use our intuition. We know. Uh, we settle for a lot of things, ladies. And it's time out for settling. Because we got shit to do. Okay. Um, this particular message is for the zodiac sign of Taurus. And... Um, the full moon is in Taurus today, collective. And um, I don't think this was a coincidence. I think the divine guided me to do um, Taurus during this full moon. I didn't mean to. Um, this is just the way that it played out. And I'm seeing now divine working. Um, <clears throat> it's time to get that money. You know, that's what Taurus is all about. They may be a little lazy at first. You have to smack the bull on the ass, you know, because they get so comfortable. They like beautiful things around them. They're ruled by Venus, um, as well as the Libra. So we have a lot in common. They like uh, beautiful things, beautiful people. They love earthly pleasures. Um, they don't mind working for it. But the thing about a Taurus is a Taurus tends to get comfortable uh, with the things that they have. I mean, they get their house looking good, car looking good, family right, everybody cool. They make sure everything is cool. And they look around and they bask in their work and in their glory and in their accomplishments and be like, oh, this is a beautiful home. I did this. Oh, my husband and my kids are happy. They dressing right. They healthy. They eating right. I did this. You know, they get so comfortable in the environment that they created for themselves that they just want to just enjoy it. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you just can't sit and just sit there because life does go on. And in order to have these things, you have to give some work. You have to put some energy out there. And a lot of times the tourists just bask in their glory. You know, on the cartoons, you see the bull laying out in the pasture, swatting flies with their tail. You know, just while the cows are grazing, you know, they're living in their glory. You know what I'm saying? But um, the bull need to get his ass up now. <laughs> you know, um, you have to come and swat the bull on the ass a few times in order for the bull to move. You know, but once that bull moves, it's on and popping. You don't want to anger it because it takes a lot um, for a tourist to get upset. Uh, because a lot of things don't bother them. They just blow it over. You know, they have that attitude like, okay, they have like a cavalier attitude. A lot doesn't bother them. But don't take their cavalier attitude as a weakness because you keep poking and you keep poking at that bull. You know, that bull is only popping, going to rage and poke your ass. Okay. So um, it's all about it's time to get it. It's time to get it, Taurus. Okay. And of course, um, on my channel, I pull from the goddess energy so we can balance out this masculine energy. Um, and I have the goddess here, hell. 
This is scorpionic energy, uh, transformation, rebirth, okay? She is the goddess of death, actually. Um, Taurus, it's time to relinquish and release what isn't working for you, okay? I know it's always difficult to acknowledge an ending, but... Um, this goddess is here to remind you that it's the only way to find yourself at a new beginning. So, you know, a lot of times you have to destroy in order to create, you know, your heart has to break sometimes, you know, in order for it to open, you know. So uh, this is what hell is here to do. You, you've gone through a transformation and it's a death to the old and the beginning of the new. And... Um, Rebirth energy is here for you, okay? And that's beautiful. Okay. And also we have the she-wolf here. We have the she-wolf here saying to unleash the wild within. Unleash the wild within. Um, let your wild side out, okay? Unleash your talents and your desires, okay? It's time. It's time. Um, um, they say that a she-wolf is part wolf and half woman. Um, she is an alpha female. So you the alpha female. You the shit. You know what I'm saying? Bump the alpha male. This is all about the alpha female. Okay? Um, this is a person who's not afraid to stand out from the crowd. You know? Um... She is wild, unfiltered. You know, she says what she's going to say and don't care how you feel about it because that's the way um, that she feels. You know, she encourages you not to be trapped by limiting um, factors or weaker members of people that were around you. Okay? Um, You got it to connect with your rebellious heart. So it's like that you're a, a, a revolutionary. You the, you the beginning of it, okay? You the leader of a pack. You're going to be the one to teach others, okay? Um, they're going to follow you, okay? And um, look at that moon. The moon has a lot to do with it. You have to tap into your lunar energy. And this is the time. The full moon is tonight, Taurus. So tap into that lunar energy. It's waiting on you. It's time. Let's do that. Let's do it. Full moon in Taurus. That is abundance. That is earthly pleasures, pinnacles. Um, it's time for you to get to work and get up off your ass, Taurus. Get this money. Okay. We also have the light card, 19, breaking down to the number of 10, which is the first step of a new cycle, okay? This card reassures you that this is your time to be in the light, no matter what's happening around you, uh, pros prosperity and bliss, bliss are promised, you know? Um, the qualities of this card is pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, illumination, you know, all the pleasures in life, okay? And it's time for you to be in the light. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to take advantage of the things that are blessed, given to you by the universe, okay? Um, this is a rebirth. This is a new chapter. Let's get it. Let's get it, Taurus. Let's get it, okay? All right. And then, of course, I rely heavily on my ancestors because they're around me all the time and I just love them to death. So I try to venerate them in every situation that, that I can. And um, the ancestors are telling you, Taurus, put the fu fucking phone down. Put the phone down, Taurus. Uh, someone is going to call you or try to message you, or you're going to have several people trying to call you and message you and 
trying to see where you're at, you know, because you're stepping into the limelight now. And everybody's going to want a piece of your pie or everybody's going to want a, uh, some shine of your light, you know. Um, be like me. I, 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 don't, I don't talk on the phone a lot. You know, I don't let people get into my energy unless I feel like it. You know, you don't just bombard me. I think that is really rude, you know. And uh, just put the fucking phone down. You ain't got to talk to everybody or nothing. Just put the phone down, okay? Just put the phone down. And it's up to you when you want to pick it up, okay? All right. And also, dun, 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 dun. You got Bishop C.H. Mason. You got the freaking Masons that's got something to do with this message I'm going to get ready to convey to the to you, Taurus. Um, this is someone that's in a Masonic society. This is someone that has pledged an oath to a particular group. This person is demonic. Look at his eyes. They have no soul. They sold their soul to guess who? Him downstairs. Okay. And Mr. Mason here came out upside down. So it's your time to shine. Okay. It's Taurus. It's the end of the bullshit these masons was trying to put you through you actually defeated these bastards okay so it's your time to shine alpha female don't took them down you hear me y'all can't fuck with the police y'all can't fuck with the police you know what i'm saying you whoop they ass kudos to you taurus you hear me that's why it's your time to shine that's why you finna get these blessings you know what i'm saying because whatever you did is you put this shit to here to rest and I hail this here. The goddess of death. And she's going to give you a brand new rebirth. Okay. You defeated these bastards. You know what I'm saying. Okay. That's what's up. A lot of people. Uh, they hear the, the name Mason. And they think that it's good for networking and connections and all that stuff. But you need to really do your research on it. Um. You really need to do, you know. And guys, you need to watch out for these particular groups. Don't um, attach yourself to something that you don't know what the hell is about. That is the dumbest and stupidest thing that you can do. That is being so naive. You know, um, do not attach yourself to something that you have no idea what it's about. Do your research. On everything okay um, a lot of these people aren't good I'm not saying that it is not people um, that are good because every organization is infiltrated okay but uh, these people are not good and in this particular instance this person has no soul no eyes no nothing so um, kudos to you okay you defeated the inverted soul. The inverted souls of this society. That were trying to bring you down Taurus. You know. And now it's time to shine. And it's the death of that. And the beginning of something new. Okay. For you. You know. Um, the energy of this particular. Um, message that I'm about to give to the. Zodiac sign of Taurus. Is. A four of pentacles. When four pinnacle comes out upright, it means that uh, you got financial security and that you're kind of like a miser. You're stacking your money and you're holding on to your money and it's all good. But this came out in reverse. Okay. Somebody let go of the money. Okay. And uh, with these uh, cards out here that I'm looking at, that the Masons, they let go. They were trying to keep your money. They were trying to get your money. They were trying to get your wealth. They were trying to get your financial security. And uh, now they let it go. Or they had no choice to let it go. Or um, the energy of this message is for you to let it go. To let it all go. You know, release it. And it's the beginning of a new. But yeah. 
Somebody wanted your financial security. Somebody wanted your blessings. And it's just these freaking Masons over here. But you defeated them. That's what's up, girl. You know what I'm saying? Stop looking for, looking for, I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? You know, <sighs> pitiful. All right. Um, let's see the message that uh, the divine is about to convey to you, uh, Tauruses. Uh, you did a good job and everything um, looks good to me so far. You know, um, let's see what's going on with the Taurus during this full moon. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. I want to welcome my new subscribers. I have several new subscribers and I want to welcome you and thanks for subscribing. If you think anybody will get any benefit or any gold nuggets from this particular video, please don't hesitate to share because we need help out here, okay? Um, please subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing and I'm excited. Um, I know the direction I want to take this channel. It is a self-empowerment channel for the women, okay? Um, it's time to put the regal woman. It's time to um, celebrate the regal, regal woman. Instead of these hoes out here, okay? It's time to celebrate the loyal, honest, nurturing woman. The great mother, the great provider, the great wife, the great cooker, the one that wants to plant the garden, um, the one in the kitchen doing the hair of the girls, you know, just all around traditional um, mother. Um, mother. Um, Earthly angels. It's time to give kudos out to the earth angels. Okay. Um, it's time to give kudos to the chosen. Um, please sus subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, I got a lot of things planned for this particular channel. Um, hit that notification bell so you can know when I bring out new material. And once again, I thank you all for subscribing. I thank you all for your views. I really appreciate it. And um, this channel is going to take off. And I'm glad that you're taking off with me. Um, I'm glad that you're here to grow with me. And I'm going to love pulling from your energy and doing these readings from you, Collective. And I really appreciate it. And I'm very honored. That you even took the time to watch my videos. Okay. Um, what's going on for you, Taurus? This full moon tonight. Um, it's going to be a blood moon tonight, guys. Actually, this is the longest lunar eclipse we've had in what it said over 580 years. So this is really a significant uh, full moon. Um, so it's a lot of things, the energy is shifting. It's a lot of things that are going to be changing. A lot of people are coming into abundance. Uh, you got a lot of people that are getting their just due. That's basically what it is. Uh, this is karma. Um, what comes around goes around. So whatever sees you sown, you're reaping the rewards. If you are unrighteous, immoral, you're going to receive those seeds that you sown. And if you are righteous and have morality and integrity, you're going to get those good, get, get, get that good karma. So what comes around goes around. Okay. And this is the time for it. So Taurus is the time to get that money for abundance. Um, if you're able to manifest, if you have that privilege to manifest, let's get it tonight. You know, unfortunately, everybody's not, uh, able to manifest, um, Due to your behaviors and the choices that you make in life, you know, um, you're able to manifest, you're able to give yourself all the reality that you want is whatever you want is at your fingertips. You hold the keys um, and the universe is at your will. OK, you've earned it and the divine is going to rain blessings from heaven. OK. So let's see what you got today, Taurus. Let's see. 
what message the spirit has for Taurus. Okay. Let's get it, Taurus. Okay. Don't know why I will never let you go. Ooh, but I should have let you. Should have let you go. I mean, I feel this this energy, y'all. I'm loving it. Um, I was on the phone with my girlfriend, and we was chatting before she went to work, and she gave me some energy. I said, I'm going to get up here and do this video. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm feeling this good energy from this moon, you know? It's time to get those rituals together tonight, y'all. Do what you do. Take those spiritual baths. Um, manifest to get your crystals out. It's time to get it. It's time to get it tonight, you know. All right, Taurus, let me look at this for a second and let's get, and get this message the divine is delivered. Um, but at the bottom of the deck, you got the five of cups. Somebody is guilty. Somebody is in regret. Somebody in their feelings. Okay. Mm, don't know who, but we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. All right, Taurus, let me take a look at this for a second. <laughs> All right. Well, Taurus, you can um, switch the roles. Um, you know where you fit in. Um, Whatever someone has been doing, which I'm feeling these freaking masons over here, hasn't been working. So the person they sent to you is halted and they're not going to get their wish fulfillment. Their wish fulfillment was to fuck you up. The wish fulfillment for this, this Masonic group over here was to put it into you. Okay? They got fulfillment out of that doing you in they would have been so happy if they were able to do you in okay and the person that was trying to do you in over here is this king of pentacles okay a person that's so materialistic um taurus energy mm -hmm. taurus virgo capricorn um somebody that's all about money Somebody that's good with money, actually, uh, someone could own a business. This particular person is married. Um, this person is with uh, their wife. They have kids by their wife, and their wife is a bitch. Their wife is a cold, calculated bitch. They don't care, has no feeling, don't care about nobody but herself. She's the devil. Okay? She is the devil. Okay? Um, this particular person... Um, This particular um, Taurus didn't get any uh, fulfillment being with this particular person. So they walked away. They walked away because they felt this person was a devil. You know? Um, this person has a twin out here. This person wants to be with their twin. Um, but this their twin has them blocked. Because this person is a player. Knight of Wands. This person is flighty. They were in and out of this person's life. They are non-committal. 
They wanted to sleep around. They're very um, driven by sex. Okay. Um, this person um, chose to be um, with this person they're married to because they're very sexual like this person. Okay. Actually, uh, the person that they're with, she's cold. She's calculated. She don't have no feeling, no heart, no soul. She's a hoe. You know, she uses her body and her looks to get what she wants, she feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, this is how she bagged this uh, King of Pentacles, this Taurus here. Okay, uh, this person married this person. They have kids with this person. Um, they had a Ten of Cups with this particular person, you know. Um, but now they want out and they're walking away because this person is a hoe. Um, and she don't care. I don't know if this person caught this person with somebody. Um, but yeah, she's a hoe and, um, she has no feelings. She's a straight up bitch. You know what I'm saying? She's very intuitive. She knows exactly what she's doing. Um, water sign, uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, also this person has fire in their chart. Um, could be Aries, Leo, or Sag. You know, very stuck on themselves. It's all about me, 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 me. Want to be a center of, of attention. Uh, probably a stripper. Um, who knows? You know, this person is very intuitive. Um, this person is uh, connected in some way. Um, and we are connected to the universe, but this person is tapped in. I want to say uh, this person, uh, but they're tapped in. They use their skills and their abilities for the dark side. Okay, uh, their husband think they're the straight up devil. This is somebody that was in this Taurus's past. They came back. This is somebody that they were with in the past. I don't know if they got back with them because they got kids or whatever, you know. Um, but it's time for um, they moved on. Um, they moved on. They don't want to be with this person no more. They want to be, they want, they want to be calm. They're tired. They don't want all the drama. They don't want no drama. You know, they just want to be happy again. You know, they want to feel childlike. They just want to be happy. You know, they don't want to fight at all. You know, um, they were emotionally abused in this relationship. That just feels that their wife is a straight up devil, you know. Um, and this person is depressed. This person is depressed, um, that the person that they want to be with, they kind of mad that this person is not, uh, is not having sleepless nights. They wanted this person to be, uh, in anguish and stressed out over them, wanting to be with them and all that stuff. And it's, it's not that way. Uh, the person that they want to be with, they, they sleeping fine at night. Uh, because they walked away from this particular person because this particular person was a a player. They jumped in and out of this person's life. You know, um, this person is in the uh, the Masons. They are they belong to this Masonic group over here. And whatever they were trying to do to this particular person that they wanted to be with is not working. OK. Actually, this group, this whole society is not working for this person. This person, this society was not what it, what they thought it would be. Um, um, they didn't know what they were getting into. They didn't know it was going to be like it was, you know. And um, actually, they hooked up with this society because of their wife. Their wife belongs to this society, you know, and their wife coasted them in um, to join the society. Uh, let's get this money. You know what I'm saying? And this person, which is all about money, um, decided to join. And once they joined, they saw all the shit that was going on behind the scene and what they were doing. And this person was like, wow, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. You know, they didn't know what they were into. But they're into it now. They took their oath, you know. So they were trying to get this particular person that they want to be with. Now, this particular person that they want to be with is not showing, not even showing up out here. They're not even um, in this reading at all. You know, um, they don't want to be bothered with this person. They don't want to talk to this person. They don't want uh, this person in their energy at all. 
because they don't trust this person. Um, this person is sneaky, unreliable, disloyal, and they just don't want to be around this person. They are flabbergasted that this person, someone that they cared about, would actually do the things that they've done to them, you know, um, for this society. You know, they tried to do this person in for this particular society because this society wanted their energy. They wanted their wealth. And this person, just naive, uh, decided to just go along with it because there's nothing that I could do now because I done got in this. But it's a lot that you could have done. You know what I'm saying? And all you're going to do is get karma. Okay? Um, this person is, is depressed. Uh, working with these people um, and they want out they want out I don't know how you're gonna get out um, you didn't you know I don't know um, about how do you get out of these secret societies you know um, I heard a lot blood out blood in you know I don't know if that's true but that's what I've heard but uh, this person wants out is not what is what they thought it was going to be um, and they just don't want to work with these people. They don't want to work with their wife no more. They don't want to work with these people no more. Um, and they just want out. You know. Um, they want wish fulfillment. You know. Um, they want to be with their person. They want to be with their person that they feel is their twin. That is their soulmate. And they're trying to come at this person, but they're trying to come at this person with sex. They're trying to come at this person with a little wine, you know, and try to get some sex from them. But this person has them blocked. They're not unblocking them. They're not dropping their goals. And they don't want anything to do with them. You know, especially you think you're going to come to me with some sex. No. No. You're not going to have victory here. And um, they want to offer this person a commitment. But this person is not even talking to them. This person is resisting them. This person, they have no desire to be with this person anymore. Okay. Uh, but yeah, whatever these Masons and this particular Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles energy uh, were trying to do to lure this person in, it didn't work. And by you keeping them blocked and not being bothered with them, you defeated them. You didn't give them any of your energy, and you defeated them. You know, um, and hooray for you, okay? But yeah, this Taurus over here, this Earth sign, um, was in cahoots with their wife in a secret society to take someone down, okay? Um, and that's sad. That's sad. There are people out there, guys, that do or energy vampires and will, um, you know, they know your light. And they know who you are before you know who you are. And they will find you or find somebody close to you. Maybe this Knight of Wands was close to this particular person. And um, they probably went through the, to the Knight of Wands in order to get to this particular person. Um, but this particular person was ascended and was aware and this Knight of Wands wasn't so they weren't able to conquer this person because everything they threw at them it reversed back to them because this person is protected um, this Knight of Wands over here is pitiful um, they were in cahoots with this society and their wife to do this particular person in okay <laughs> Uh, they know that these people are the devil, okay? And they're not getting no emotional fulfillment. They don't even want to be there. They hate being there, you know, and they want out. They want to be with their twin. But who knows? Maybe it's too late, you know, especially if you're Masonic. Hmm. Not saying all Masons are bad, but, you know, hey, this was a society that was trying to take one individual down one female down for her gifts and her abundance, her wealth, you know? And um, this person protected themselves. This person fought them off. This person didn't go hide in the corner like they thought 
um, that they would. You got them fucked up, you know. So this was happening, you know, and I feel that this person is going to come back and try to call you, keep calling you, uh, want to try to do a reconciliation. But your ancestors have already told you at the beginning. Put the fucking phone down. Don't even acknowledge this person. Don't even bring this person into your energy. This person tried to do you in. This mason here, them and their society tried to do you in. So who gives a fuck? what they want you know don't come around don't come around you know that's what I'm saying women um don't settle for them bullshit like that that's right you know what I'm saying um don't settle for these men going running in and out of your life see I'm here to empower women see what happened see what happens when when this person loves themselves you know they defeated the whole fucking organization, you know. Um, the women, we are divine, you know. We are the connection between the heavens and the earth, okay. And you have demonic entities and demonic energies that know who you are before you know who you are, okay. And they want those gifts. They want those privileges because they've got rid of theirs a long time ago because they chose to go toward the dark side instead of the light so they can see it they can smell it and they love it and they want it they covet it so they don't want to do the work themselves because they're reprobated minds so they want to take and steal energy and blessings and from other people that are able to manifest basically sacrificing you and leaving you a total zombie or in lack. That's what they want to do. And that's what these people do. And um, this particular person wanted to do it with sex. Sex is the highest exchange of energy that you can do. Okay. And it didn't hurt. Helping. Help. Ooh, I said herping. So this person probably got herpes. Okay. I don't know where that came from. person probably got herpes. Okay, jumping around everywhere and this person blocked them out and don't want nothing to do with them. And I don't blame them. I don't blame you. Okay. This person got victory against this society because they resisted the fake ass love that they were trying to give. See, that's what I'm saying, ladies. We have so many skills. We have intuition. This person used their intuition and believed in the divine and actually saved their life because they didn't lay down with this person or get tricked by this particular person. Which is this Taurus here, this King of Pentacles energy, a person that only cares about money. A person that got into this society because they thought they were going to have some good networking or uh, always going to be uh, abundant because they're connected to this society. You know, they thought they were going to have the keys, you know. That's what their wife coaxed them up to. That's what they was in there telling them that you're always going to be connected. You're always going to have money. You know, you get a lot of politicians and people up in government or a whole social status. That's the type of groups that these people are in. And this particular uh, King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, thought that they were going to get this with being with this group. But it's not working out like they thought it was. You know, because they're getting their ass kicked because karma has come around. Hell is here. The goddess Hell is here. She's the goddess of death. And she's killing all this shit. And starting anew and rebirth. So, honey, this person that's not even in here, don't want to show their energy. This, uh, the person that this person, this King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, think is their twin, um, kick their ass. Served them up. They was a straight up plate. They didn't know who they was dealing with. They didn't know who they was dealing with. So they got served. This society is a straight up plate. Okay. It was a straight up plate. Didn't know what hit them. Now they over there scrambling. Okay. No. 
Don't be scrambling now because they were covered in your money. They were covered in your pinnacles. Okay? Because they're not able to get it. Because they're not blessed by the divine. Because these are some evil, reprobate-minded people. And they work for him downstairs. Okay? They probably got altars with him sitting on it. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure and that's the Baphomet. Okay? Yeah. No victory here. No victory here, Taurus. You know. So don't come running this way. Because over here we empower women. And we tell women what we feel is right. But this person was ascended. And they knew you was on some bullshit. So that's my girl. See, that's what we want. She wolves around here. Straight up alpha females around here. You know, taking charge, whooping ass and taking names. You know what I'm saying? And that's what she did. She whooped ass over there and took names. Okay? This is what is going on with this rebirth here. You got alpha females. We on the rise, baby. So if you you ain't on you ain't on you know you ain't on the grind you ain't on the bus then you getting left. Y'all better fall in line, man. Y'all better fall in line. And the ones that do, of course, you will be rewarded. But the ones that don't, you are gonna be lost in the sauce. Okay, like this King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands energy. Okay, Taurus, you lost in the sauce, dude. You know, because you ran across the wrong one. Okay? You ran across the wrong one. And they doing moon magic. <laughs> All type of stuff over there. Who you think you is? Who you fucking with? Look at that moon behind that she-wolf. You got me fucked up. The moon beckons at this person's call. Okay? They're about that life, too. The only thing is this person is connected to the light. Got way more spiritual rank than these whack-ass people over here. Got way more spiritual rank than these whack-ass people over here. Okay? Y'all didn't know who y'all was fucking with. You need to do your research next time. You know what I'm saying? Because she's something like a pimp out here, Okay? All right. So, you know, before you start doing your magic and trying to bring people down, you need to know who you fucking with first. Because that's an alpha female. Yeah. You got this whack ass society over here that didn't know who they was messing with. They weren't enlightened. You know, about who this person was before they started doing whatever they was doing. But now they know. Now they know. <laughs> now you know. So Taurus, skip to dip your ass on somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It's not happening. You know? And you're going through karma. You're attached to this devilish ass society. You're attached to this devilish ass woman you got kids with. That's your problem. You know? But it's the end of all this trickery. It's the end of all this spell work. It's the end of all this thievery, uh, manipulation, deceit. It's the end of all that. You know, and don't be calling my phone because I ain't trying to hear it. Don't be trying to call my phone, trying to, you know, she ain't trying to hear it. She don't want your little cup of love. She ain't trying to hear it. What you think? She's a fool? That she don't know what you was trying to do behind her back with these people, this organization, and your whack-ass wife? Your whole-ass wife? Your herpes-having-ass wife? You ain't know? You ain't think she knew? You were not even ranked nowhere near this female. That's why this female didn't even show her face out here. Because you're a peon. You're a knight. 
this person, I'm pretty sure they, I'm gonna know, know why the Empress Court is out here. Well, it's not out here because this person don't even care to let you know that they the Empress. I mean, you mean absolutely nothing to them. You're a piece of shit. Your society is a piece of shit. Your wife is a piece of shit. Okay? No victory here. Okay? Whatever you was doing is not working. It didn't work. You've been defeated. Go about your business, okay? Let's get some affirmation on here for my Tauruses. Or a Taurus just could be somebody you're connected with, you know. Um, you could be the King of Pentacles. Uh, it could be male or female. You know, take it how it resonates. You know where you fit, you know. Um, Knight of Wands energy could be male or female. You know, male or female, you know if you're a hoe or not. Male or female, you know if you just all about the money and a hoe. You know, this particular person, um, they got with somebody just like them. All about the money and the hoe. Okay? All about the money and the hoe. You know, but uh, this person, they think there's a twin, they ain't trying to, they like twin my ass. You know what I'm saying? And I don't blame them. And they walked away. Leave them alone. Gone. She's a she-wolf. You keep on fucking with she going to bite your ass. Okay? <laughs> you know? Y'all ain't the only one. Out. See, y'all didn't know who y'all was fucking with. They probably did this several times. And ran across <laughs> the whole shit. Ran across she shit on the stick. Ran across somebody that, like, and I know they over there like, Damn! Why this ain't working? Who is this bitch? Probably ain't never even seen her. But trying to take her out. They're like, who is this bitch? This bitch connected? Damn! Yeah. 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 Didn't know, huh? Okay, you know who you was fucking with. You got me fucked up. <laughs> you don't know what that person possessed. You know. <laughs> but yeah, it's time for this person to shine now. It's a rebirth. Uh, this person has been in solitude. Um, obviously, they're not on a boy. But Spirit is telling them it's time to shine. You know, defeated these motherfuckers. It's time to shine, honey. They did not get your money, so let it let it go. They let it go. They ain't had no choice to let it go because the divine took it from their ass. You know, you got your money. You finna get your blessings. Ain't nothing they could do. You done defeated them. You done had victory. Um, there you go. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to let your voice be heard. It's time for you to unleash the wild within. Um, you're going to have bliss coming in your way. Illumination, power, abundance. It's all coming your way, you know. But this fool is coming too. This Knight of Wands is coming too to offer you love. Come up here and love bomb you. Think they're going to get some sex with you and draw you back in. It's not going to happen. You've been defeated, dog. Stop trying, you know. Stop trying. Okay, you got this person blocked. This person's calling your phone. They're blocked. This person show up at your house. Call the police. Call the police because you, obviously you don't want to be bothered with this person. You got them blocked. You know, if they come around you, handle your business. I hope you're seeing someone. They can handle their business. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, these narcissists, I'm telling you, these narcissists are something else. You know. Um, and these uh, societies are relentless. They want to win at all costs, you know, um, especially his unfeeling ass, uh, cold, calculated ass wife, you know, uh, this hoe on the pole over here that's uh, got a connection, but she's using it for uh, dark magic and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what they over there doing, but it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Because you're messing with a she-wolf, okay? An alpha female that knows what's going on, and you not... You can't outrank her spiritually. It's spiritual rank here. Okay? Yeah, y'all done fucked up. You know? Let's get some affirmation on this. Okay? Let's get some affirmation on here for my Tauruses. Doing this full moon. Yeah. They want to be with a twin. There's too much drama over here with this uh this hoe over here. And they want to be with somebody they feel that that's that's a twin where it's balanced and 
no drama, everybody working together, where it's light and growth and abundance. They want to go over there. You know what I'm saying? They want to feel the sun on their face. They want to, you know, tap into their inner child where they was happy and blissful. It's not going on over there with the devil. It's all dark and gloomy, you know, and that's how they get down. You know what I'm saying? That's how they get down. That's how they have me getting down. This person is tired of it. And this person is walking away from it. Walking away from it. You know, walking away from it, Taurus. You're walking away from it. Okay, let's see what the affirmations say. These people kill me watching your po your pocket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Perseverance. This person persevered. This woman persevered through this society trying to take her out of here. I mean, it's crazy. They persevered. Trying to take her wealth, her abundance. This old busted ass, bum ass Taurus. You know. And a water sign wife. You know, and this person persevered through that, you know. Whatever this hoe and this greedy, selfish male over here were trying to do with this society, they persevered through this. And that's why they finna go into abundance. That's why they are being blessed, you know. But yeah. Hey, what your ancestors to say? Put the fucking phone down. This person, um, you got them blocked. So they're gonna spontaneously, like, come up to your house. Hopefully they don't know where you stay, but this person is, still, is, is uh, planning on to spontaneously creep up on you, you know, and try to get back in your life some type of way. Because they're not giving up. They want to win at all costs. Relentless. The devil is always relentless, okay? <coughs> but... You trust in the divine. You know it's sharks and stuff nipping at your tail. You don't even care. You don't even see them because you just listening to the divine. <coughs> and whatever the divine telling you, you 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 going along with it. So it's a lot of this stuff that's happening out here uh, on this particular woman that they don't even know what that is going on. All this spell work and magic and about the society over here. This person don't probably didn't even know what's all going on over there. You know. But who cares? They not spirit. They can't spiritually outrank you. So you you did right. Listening to the divine, the divine gonna guide you all the way. That sweet little voice you hear. You ain't gotta worry about these sharks. You could be close as hell to them, and they not gonna be able to bite you. Okay, you are protected. There you go. There they go. What freaking magic. Never fucking fails. That's what they was doing in this society over here, trying to get this particular person to want to be with this person so they can sexually initiate them, uh, take their energy, and give it to this society. You know what I'm saying? So they can get this wealth and abundance from this particular person. Sad. And they thought they were going to persevere with the magic. But everyone is a teacher, you know. Um, this is a lesson being taught to you. This is a lesson of learning how to protect yourself against these type of people. You have to look at this as a, uh, from a higher perspective. Uh, use this as a, a tool that the divine was getting, getting you ready. Because uh, the more you extend, the more demons you fight. The higher levels you go, the higher level demons, more higher level demons that you fight, you know. So they're just getting you ready at the ground floor because the devil is relentless, you know. And there are different archons uh, at different levels, and they get stronger and stronger. So you're going to have to get through these levels, okay. 
And if anything out of this situation, you learn how to fucking protect yourself. You, your intuition got stronger, you know? So you um, actually show up in your skills. Actually, the divine was getting you ready. Your divine and your ancestors, okay? Everyone's a teacher, okay? And don't worry, honey, you have ultimate potential. You know, um, whatever you want, you're able to get. You're able to draw it towards you, you know. Um, and you only need to be around people that support you and uh, support what you're doing, your growth and your accomplishments. You got so many talents. You got so many things to unlock, ultimate potential inside of you. You know, you ain't got time to be, and they know this. They know this. That's why they were trying to get you. That's why they're still trying to get you. I mean, just relentless. They know what you got. They know your potential, and they want it. But trust, you protect it, okay? You protect it. They think they're going to persevere with this magic, but no. They've been defeated, okay? At the bottom of the deck, here you go, forgiveness. You know, um, they want you to forgive them for the things that they've done to you, you know. And um, when you divine, you have to look at things from a higher perspective. You know what I'm saying? And um, that is a part of being divine is to learn how to forgive. Okay, you have to forgive in order to be divine. Because if you don't, that person will still have control over you and your energy. You know, so forgive and move on. You know, you understand this person is sick. You understand these people are sick and deranged. Just don't be bothered with them. Just don't even go around them or nothing. And this person didn't. They didn't even show up in this reading. They like, uh, Zengaya, can you, you got my, you got my lightweight? And I'm like, I got this. I got this. This ain't nobody out here but this devil in this fucking warped ass uh, Mason society out here. I got this for you, girl. I got it. You know what I'm saying? I got her. You know? But now they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness because they don't want the stuff that they did to backfire on them. Or it's probably already backfiring on their ass. And they want your forgiveness to ease their mind. They think it's going to make it a little easier if they ask you for your forgiveness and apologize. And they think it's going to go easier. You know, they don't, they, don't, they don't care what they was doing to you. They only doing the apologizing to be beneficial to themselves. <laughs> because everything, if everything would work, you'd be on your deathbed and they'll be over there partying. Cause, so they don't give a fuck, okay? Let's see what the ancestors have to say about this. Uh-oh, dropped the cards. Yeah, they just over there putting magic on you. They gonna make you be with them. Ain't that something? Don't nobody want your rusty, crusty ass, Taurus. You know, switch it how you rose need to be fixed, you know. You know. Nobody want your ass. This is a rebirth. It's the death of that shit. Start over new, so. Yeah, y'all didn't know who y'all was messing with, Masons. They didn't know who you was messing with. Now you got your ass handed to you. You got your ass handed to you. Hmm. Ain't playing with y'all out here. You know, the divine feminine is on the rise, man. Y'all better. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's the energy is shifted. If you can't feel it, hey, you a zombie. The energy is shifted. It's over for y'all. You know, let this woman back on her throne. You know what I'm saying? Let these women back on their throne, but you ain't got to let them. We're going to bogart our ass back on our throne. It's, it's ours anyway. How you going to tell me I can't sit on my throne? I built it. <laughs> Just for me. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all think uh, the seat to the throne, the ass be wide? You know what I'm saying? Because you got these melanated women with a big ass like me. Big ass thighs and hips. You know what I'm saying? Not these skinny males with a frivolous, frigid ass. That throne ain't made for them. You know what I'm saying? They want to be you. They want to be women so bad. They want your shine. 
You know, everybody want to be a woman. You know what I'm saying? That's why they made makeup. They didn't make makeup for us. They made makeup for these men that want to be women. Because they know that we the shit. You know? And they try to denigrate you and put you at the bottom of the stack. Because they know if you rise, they going back to the bottom. Well, they should be. Because they the lower half. You know what I'm saying? And you need to ascend. You need guidance to ascend. And I'm your guide. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, they hate, they hate to hear that. They hate to hear that. You know. <laughs> they hate to hear. They're like, oh, you just a woman. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever looked into it and, and try to see why they downgrade us so much? Because they're scared of us. You know. Self-empower women, women. We need to get it back together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knowing who we are except us. You know what I'm saying? They know the power we hold and entail, but we don't. You know, um, we need to get it together. We need to get back to it. You know, that's why they try to hold you down. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to survive. They don't want you to uh, to get over a man. You know, that's why they pay you less than a man. When you work at the same job and you do it actually better than do than they do because you comprehend better than a man. You know, it, it, the messages are sent to you. And through your nurturing you give the messages to the men. Okay? Look on the temples of the pyramid. You see uh, Isis actually teaching the child, feeding the child, nurturing him. You know? That's us. Okay? Remember who you are. We're going to help you. We're going to help you remember who you are on this channel. Okay, and if you don't like it, you a woman hater, don't come on my fucking channel. Because you're going to get blasted. You know what I'm saying? You're going to acknowledge these women here. Because we're the power of supremacy. We're the mothers of the earth. Okay, let's see what the ancestors have to say. New opportunities, new beginnings. All right, I'd like to see that. It's the end of your suffering. New things coming for you, sweetheart. You're not going to have to wait anymore. Your wait is over. Okay? was going on. You was in you was ready. You know what I'm saying? You stepped into your power, into your energy, and you know they had a hidden this person had a hidden agenda. This Taurus had a hidden agenda. You know that they were gonna betray you for this society. You know, just murk you right in front of this society. You know, um this person is married to this uh jealous, envious uh, woman over here that wants to be you. <laughs> okay. And uh, you defeated that hoe. You know, and spirit help you. Spirit brought some balance into this. You know, they seen what you was doing. You don't think the divine know what you're doing? You don't think the divine know what you're doing? But you got a nerve to pray. And then say, please God save me. Is you a fool? Okay. But you're going to have, you got a message coming in. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. You're going to have a reason to celebrate why this person is not going to have no good fortune. Because you defeated this devil. You stepped into your power, into your energy. You know what I'm saying? The daughter sticks and you defeated this damn devil. You know? This person is son of knives. This person is just want to stab you in your back and just kill you for this particular society. You know, but, you know, this person has been through a lot. You know, they don't even want to show their face. They're in their sanctuary. This person has been through a lot. So this, um, the universe is bringing in some balance. And they finna bring in some abundance. They finna hook this person up. The end of the suffering is over. Good things are to come. 
You know what I'm saying? And they finna financially bless this particular person. You totally been vindicated. You know, um, this person, um, this Taurus over here made a bad choice. They made a choice. They made a bad choice when they decided to uh, marry this Queen of Wands in reverse. They made a bad choice when they they chose this woman in this secret society over here. And now they're going to be messed up their life. They're going to be working hard, toil and labor for at least seven years now. At least seven years. Life is going to be hard. Life is going to be hard. But for this particular person, the, the, the woman of there, they, um, you did a good job. And the universe is patting you on the back. You, you kept your integrity. You kept your faith through it all. You kept on worshiping the divine and honoring your ancestors and keeping your integrity. Because this person could have did some, um, some black magic too. But why? 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 Okay. Now you done messed your life up. For at least seven years. Okay. That's sad. You know what I'm saying. Taurus. You sad. You sad Taurus. And Taurus could be a male or a female. But I'm feeling it's a male. Because. They're married to this uh, King of Cups. and re Queen of Cups in reverse. Someone they have kids by. Someone that's a total bitch. Someone that's a hoe, someone that's slowing down the pole, someone is, is connected, someone is very intuitive, somebody that's tapped in, somebody that's over there doing spell work, an envious, jealous ass person that covets other people's stuff, not confident at all. You know, follow the latest fads and follow this and follow that instead of being an individual and authentic and being themselves because they don't love themselves. So they try to be other people. But you and your society got defeated. Now it's time for this person to come out of solitude and start living life. You got the eight of baskets. This person is moving on. This person is moving on. That's what you do. Eight of cups that ass. This person has moved on. This person has left the building. And they are not even showing their face in this reading. I can't even tell you what sign this person is. But I know that we got an earth sign out here. We got an earth sign out here. That has Aerie Leo Sag in a chart. That's married to this water sign. That has a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Aries Leo Sag in their um, chart. Okay. And that's what you do. You ate a cup stairs. You leave them back here in their misery. And they botched their society because whatever they was doing didn't work. And you tip the fuck on where you need to go. Where you need to shine at. Where you need to show your talents. You know. And then in the full moon in uh, Taurus, it's time to get that money. It's time for you to shine so you can get that money. It's a porthole that's open. And it's time to get that money. Get that money. Ain't that what Kale say? I got what you want. Uh, you got what I need. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's get this money. It's time. It's time. All right. Let's get a, a light worker on here. Kudos. Kudos to the woman. They still had some self-love and they went the other way. See, lady, that's what we need to be doing. And stuff like this will work out all the time. Stuff like this will work on all the time. You know. You know. And we need to be there for each other, sisters. And we need to go check on each other sometimes. You know. You know. You know. Need to go check on a sister sometime. You know they're not doing well. And we sit around. We give them uh, advice. You know. And in the worst predicament than we is. They're going through something right now. We give them our advice. After we get to sitting around. Drinking our tea or whatever it is. Smoking our whatever it is. 
and they go home and we know they're doing pretty bad. They know they're doing worse than us. So, you know, the conversation that we just had was mostly about them because they need some extra attention. You know what I'm saying? But we need to come back and check on them too. Check on them a couple of weeks later and see how they're doing. A week later, see how they're doing. You know, because they need that encouragement. You know? And men hate that. Oh, what that bitch called her for? She called to talk to me, not you. You know, because they're going to tell you, man, you need to leave that mind. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's up to you. You know, you take that in. You know what I'm saying? That's why, ladies, you need to watch who you friends with. You need to be with like mind ascended people so you know they're not coming to you. They advice ain't no bullshit. You know? You have to, you have to change your environment or people you're in contact with, ladies. You know? But this particular person defeated this secret society and this, you know, this Taurus over here that was trying to do an end. And that's what we do, ladies. Look at the power we got. If we just ascend and don't settle. Okay? Yeah. And my grandmother. Seed in the light, laying foundations of divine plan. See, you here to see the whole new generation. This is the divine plan. You are here to heal people, to help people, to come out of their negative thinking. You know, this is the divine plan, see? And it's time. The full moon is in Taurus. It's time to get it. It's time to get it, okay? This is the time, and this is the divine plan. You see it in the light. You, you seeding the light. The light is going to be shining. Everybody's going to change, and you the seed of it. You the one that's planting that in the ground. That is an honor. That is an honor. Look at this. Look at where they live. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the pasture. Look at the water. You see the sphinx in the background? This person is, is want to bring minds back to that, back to, to tradition, back to when we had empires. Look, look at the people down there looking up, worshiping this particular person for bringing them back to where they started from. I mean, people can say, oh, you old school or whatever, but shit, the old school is what? <laughs> what mothered this nation? Do you know how big and fabulous we were before everybody came over here trying to infiltrate us? They've been trying to infiltrate us for the longest. They covered in what we had because we have way more what, what we... The way that we live now in our culture and stuff has totally been destroyed and taken away from us. And this person is going to bring you back to the way things were. Peace, harmony, love, righteousness, respect, discipline, spirit. That's what's happening now. It's a big energy shift, and this is what's happening. This is what we're going back to. Okay? And everybody out, the people out here, they're, they're, they're gaining consciousness. They're gaining consciousness. So they know that everything began with a woman and is going to end with a woman. They know. That's why they're trying to destroy. Okay? Okay? So, let's get some goddesses around here to balance this negative energy and this negative masculine energy out here. Yeah. I got what you want. You got what I need. Money, 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 money. Hey. Money. You know, it's coming. It's coming. That's what's, that's what's ushering in right now. You know? 
And abundance comes in so many ways. It's necessarily not just money. It could be family relationships. It could be you could have a child. You could have a marriage. You know, just happiness, wholeness, peace. You know, that's being abundant, you know. These people try to take you out, you know, but you just hold fast and hold on to the divine. And that's nothing you can't do, women. That's nothing you can't do. You see what this person does. You see how they took this Taurus and their society out, okay? All right. Let's see what energy we need out here. Come on, goddesses. Let's balance this mess out. We got nut, resurrection. There she go. The, 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 you know, you're resurrected. This is the birth of the new. You're resurrected, honey. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to get it going on. You're resurrected. You know, this is the end and the beginning of a new. You know, her and hell, her and uh, hell, the uh, energy of rebirth, they go hand in hand. Rebirth and rex of resurrection. It's that time. And you see she got her horns on. It's the time. It's the time of the Taurus, the moon, the Taurus. This is the time, okay? Come on, man, I can't make this up. Quit playing, quit playing. You know, and that's what they, they know. This society knew, they probably was all in your birth chart or whatever they could find out on you. They knew that you finna get this look. Hey, Tai Chi. I love to see her. I mean, you're just going to have money just falling out your pockets, and you're going to be blind to it. It's going to hit you. You're going to be like, what? What's that? Yeah, Tai Chi. Rebirth. Resurrection. Look, money. That's what's happening now. Yeah. I mean, come on with it. This is what's going to happen. You're going to wake up and be like, oh, let me check my bank account. Hmm, how much did I make last month? Ooh. Man, I made $25,000 last month. What? You hear me? It's like that. It's like that when you manifest. It's like that when you're righteous. It's like that when you're privileged. And this society knows it. And they ain't getting down because they're some dark, demonic entities that can't manifest, do nothing. Okay? Hi, Tai Chi. Let me put my girl up here. Let me put her up here, y'all. You hear me? And you got my eye. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. This is Libra energy. You know what I'm saying? This is straight up justice. This rebirth, this abundance, this luck, this money that you finna get is justice. Father Sims is here. He bringing balance. And the balance is to make you financially secure. You may not even have to work no more. Okay? This is justice. Person has been through a lot fighting off this secret society and this nut, this 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 trying to flighty player wanna be in and not all they care is about sex, him and his crooked ass wife. They done been through a lot. And this is divine justice here. So if you don't like it, you take it up with the divine, okay? And see how far you get. Demonic ass society, you know, against your own culture. How dare you? You got over here giving you the energy of domesticity, home, family. Taking care of the house and the family. Just, your heart just filled with joy. You know, just waking up smelling bacon, walking in the house smelling cookies cooking. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just home. You hear me? Individuality. Time for you to go out on your own. Time for you to go out on your own and do the damn thing. 
okay? Or this particular person that belongs to this society that they want to leave, that it wasn't what it was cracked up to be, maybe you need to tip the fuck off. Maybe you need to go on your own. Do it on your own, bruh. You should. Okay. I'm proud of this person. You know. And if you think anybody can benefit from this message, you let them know because it is societies out here out here that are surely wicked. And these people do approach you to ask you to join them and you should know about whatever you get into before you get into it. If you're approached by these people and they usually approach you when everything is going right in your life and you upstanding in the community and they want you to represent them. So they come and they approach you. But it's not all they cracked up to be. It's not what you think it is. And, and they're, um, this is who they worship here. This is who they work for here. Okay? So before you jump into something, just seeing dollar signs, you need to know what you're worshiping and who you are being connected to. Before you get in it, like this fool over here, this Taurus, and it's going to be too late because you're binded. Look at that. You're binded to this once you get in. It's a soul contract. You basically sold your soul. Know what you're getting into before you get into it, y'all. Just don't be blind and just, you know, and that's what this particular fool over here did because all they could see was dollar signs and all they, they could, all they could see is dollar signs and they couldn't see past their dick. Dollar sign and they dick. That's all they was worried about. Money, sex, and rock and roll. Now who's over that? Hmm? Who's over that? Okay? Well, y'all know. All right. This is the message that I have for you, Taurus. You know, you can reverse the roles. Like I say, that, that, that uh, King of Pentacles, you know, that's just energy. It's a masculine energy, but that could be a female as well as a male. You know? On the bottom of this deck, I have independence. This person has gotten independence from this bullshit. And they're going out in the wilderness and they're going on their own to new horizons, new experiences, new opportunities. You know, they're using their moon magic, you know, and they're going on about their business, okay? Proud of this person. Proud of this person for ascending. Proud of this person for not letting this piece of shit-ass uh, Knight of Wands draw them into any negativity. You know? Proud of this person. See, that's what we're talking about, self-empowerment over here. Self-love, love thyself. You love yourself, you can conquer anything. They love they self, so they didn't even, you know. I love myself too much to be with somebody that wants to just come and just fuck me and then leave and come back when they feel they want to. This person didn't even know that they were Masonic or what they were doing behind the scene. They just chose to not put up with this behavior or disrespect no more and love they self. See how that was? And by them just doing that, they done defeated the whole organization. And this, this trick dick ass dude and uh, his uh, lace front head ass, rotten, rotten, I know it's rotten down there, probably got all type of bacteria and yeast infection down there, rotten crotch ass wife, you know? sad but this is the message that i have for you taurus i hope you enjoyed it um if you feel anybody can benefit from this message please don't hesitate to share uh please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel the channel is growing and i want to thank everybody for subscribing uh, welcome to my new subscribers and i want to thank everyone and until the next uh reading i would um would love for you to uh, know thyself. Know thyself, know thyself, know thyself, okay? Because once you know yourself, you can conquer anything, okay? I love you all, 
and thank you so much. And until next time, and enjoy this full moon and do your rituals and do your manifesting. And, you know, let's get it. Our spiritual baths tonight, you know. Um, make sure you uh, ward off all negative energy because as well as people manifesting and uh, uh, telling the divine what they want, you also have these crazy people out here doing spell work. Uh, doing uh, love spells and banishment spells and uh, glamour spells and trying to get your hair pulled out or make your face look bad or uh, make you gain weight or actually take your life or get you sick. You, know, you got sick people out here that, that actually wants to uh, do harm to people. So you got people out here in the full moon doing all type black magic. So protect yourself too. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. Um, clear your energy in your energy space. Uh, ask the universe to protect you, your family, your home, your mate, your money. You know, call out to the universe and your ancestors. All you got to do is ask and they will be here to help you. Okay? You know, because there's some cuckoo people out here. Cuckoo. Okay? So while you're manifesting, also protect yourself. Okay? And I love you all. Until next time, know thyself. This is in Gaia, and this is in Libra Tarot. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>